you guys check this out we have a massive package right here guess what is inside i mean you guys should have known by now based on the thumbnail yes we have the long awaited the highly anticipated camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex. Just check out this beauty. It is looking amazing, guys. Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands. Okay, so today we shall take a look at this new beauty, the camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex. At the same time, we shall do comparison with our entire Indominus Rex collection, okay? Every single figure. We will also head over to our mini shelves right here to pick up all the different mini Indominus Rex figures as well, okay? So let's do this right now. Guys, all the larger figures are in the box. Now it's time for us to head over to the mini shelves. Right guys, check this out, okay? I have every single Indominus Rex figure that I own on the floor right here. And of course, we are going to review this beautiful figure right now, so let's do this. Apart from that, let's open some of these trading cards as well, which has just arrived. A couple of these hatchling eggs as well, because I have an incubator full of these eggs right here. So let's begin! Alright guys, it's time to take a look at the Camouflage and Battle in Dominus Rex, okay? So the packaging is more or less the same as the other figures. So if you flip it over, you'll be able to find the very cool lighting that comes up from the Indominus Rex when you press the button right here. Of course, it also features the new Tyrannosaurus Rex, which we will be getting really soon, okay? So, time for us to cut the strings loose. So, let me just take my pair of trusty scissors, um, just cut it right over here, alright? And this one right here. Are we able to remove it? Nope. So, as expected, we have to open this little flap, okay? Not a huge fan of this little flap and handles right here because sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it actually breaks. So let's try this. Hopefully it works. You have to turn it this way. Okay, this one came up pretty easily. So I guess this one should be more or less the same. Okay, this one, yep, similarly you have to Turn it down this way, but it's in an angle which is extremely hard for me to do it. And I'm not a very strong person, as you can see from my skinny arms. Alright, I think we are done. Let's get this little piece out. Okay, still struggling to get it out. Okay, it is done. Wow. Behold the the camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex, wow. Okay, so firstly, this figure in terms of the sculpt is actually way more accurate. Let me just remove all of this distractions away, okay? And let me just quickly show you guys like a very quick comparison. So the latest camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex and this is basically the um, Destroy and Devour Indominus Rex which can't stand very well right now. Okay, you guys can see. In terms of the length, okay, so let me just take my camera. Yep, you can see my Indominus Rex is actually not standing very well. Let me just get my camera off the tripod. So in terms of the length, you can clearly tell they are quite similar in terms of the length but in terms of the body width you can clearly see the new one is actually much thinner the head is actually much smaller as well which is great because that is more proportioned right guys so this actually looks really really good i must say it looks very very compact you can see the body size is actually much smaller and um, if you take a look at the detailing done on this figure, it is absolutely amazing. The teeth actually looks much sharper than 
the previous one you can see it is like sharper edges this one seems to be very blunt i would say very very beautiful in terms of the detailing you can see the interior of the of the jaw and you don't have to worry about the sharp teeth because every single one of them is actually made of a um, very very soft material you can see it is very very flexible so it is not dangerous at all and um, in terms of the tongue you can see very nice detailing done absolutely incredible the scaling done it's very different from the previous you know indominus rex because you can see this one has very protruding scales i would say whereas this one seems to be more um in indented yeah you can see this figure of mine is not able to stand very well so you can see all of these scales are done like you know with very nice indentation of the lines very very cool you can find some creases right here very beautifully done right here i think there's a bit of um a defect right here on this thorn and this spikes right here i wouldn't call them spikes I, i'm not too sure what to call them like quills probably are very soft and rubbery very well done and you can clearly tell there are like two tones of colors on top of his body you know this part where the spinal bone is is actually darker in shade the sides are actually in a much lighter color and you can see a lot of um what do you call this the osteoderm it's very very nicely crafted as well quick comparison this one has a more rugged look this one has a more refined look i would say okay all right going to the tail very nice creases done which were was not actually seen in the previous figure you can don't, you don't see any creases right here whereas this one you can actually see it very nicely done right here all the way to the tail and the mid portion very very cool all right okay what about the arms the arms are actually very similar i would say in terms of the length yep so both are equally nice but of course you can see the claws are not painted for sure of course there is articulation on the arms you're able to move them as you wish you can rotate them 360 very nice articulation you can even move them up and down there's a very nice sound to it this part can be moved as well the wrist cannot be rotated but very very beautiful arms done the, the neck can be moved as well the legs are beautifully crafted as well i really love like the speckles the, the specks of like brown spots dark brown spots that you know they have splattered across this figure makes it look very very cool okay but uh, okay i think it's time for us to test this out okay but before we press the button maybe you guys will want to try this in your jurassic world facts app i'm not too sure whether this figure is already in the facts app you guys may want to pause it and try scanning it i will do it in a, sh in, a in a wild time okay so let's press this button right now i'm pretty excited to see okay let's try this okay i can see a slight glow right here because it is really really bright so let me just turn turn down the, um, the lights wow very awesome but if you turn on my spotlights i mean my table lamp you basically can see the light so i'm not too sure how i'm gonna take the nice thumbnail later on i shall try not to you know make it too bright yeah it, it looks very very cool i must say let's let's try this again guys wow so let's listen to the ross as well okay let's try this again really really awesome and you can see once i release the button the light still glows in a wavy manner so it basically lights up from the neck to the body in a kind of like continuous manner very cool like you know like waves okay you can see the belly you know lighting up and right now you can see the light flows from the neck to the body and from the body back to the neck very very cool let's try this again all right you can see it moves over here 
and it moves back. Okay, moves back again. It's basically like flickering. Yeah, very, very cool. And you can see like the veins inside the body. Very, very nice. This has got to be the coolest Indominus Rex so far. For sure, guys. For sure. Let's flip it over to the other side and see whether there could be any differences. Wow. This is just an amazing, amazing figure. Yep. Let me just turn on the lights and try to... Um, let's do this. Yep, with the lights turned on, you can't really see, you know, the colored lights inside, which is quite a pity. So let's put this behind. Maybe let's try this again. Yep, you're able to see it, but not as clear as when I turn off the lights completely. So let's try this again. Wow. Really beautiful. I am super impressed by this new Indominus Rex. Yeah, I want you guys to comment down below. Do you guys think this is like the greatest Indominus Rex so far? Okay, let me know down below, okay? Okay, we are going to take a look at more Indominus Rex, but before we get started, we have a couple of things to open up, you know, just to make things fresh. Um, I've received this 30th anniversary, you know, Jurassic Park parts. So let's open one pack. I'm pretty sure there are Indominus Rex inside as well. So this is basically like a, you know, trading cards. I'm a huge collector of cards as well. I do collect like basketball cards in case that you guys don't know. I'm a huge fan of um, San Antonio Spurs. I've been supporting them like since 1993. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Wow. This, yeah, like what I've told you guys, Indominus Rex. Yep. Chomping down on the gyro spear. Very beautiful. And what is this? Wow, this one seems to be, you know, like a kind of like a rare card, I feel. This one, it's another metallic card, which looks really good. Velociraptor. Wow, I really love this card because you can actually feel the texture of it. And this seems to be part of our larger artwork. And here we have... um. Um, another scene from Jurassic Park 3 Very nice Okay, so yep, that's You know, some cards So let's open one of these eggs right here I know that you guys Some of you guys have not seen these eggs before um, These are basically hatchlings um, There's also an Indominus Rex in this set So who knows, we might be able to get, get it from the first time The first try, who knows so let's try to open this one up. I will not be opening the slime because, you know, we have so many things to cover. So let's have a look. So this is basically the, the pack of slime. And um, this is um, the pack of figure. So hopefully we are able to get a nice figure. So let's try this. Okay. Okay, it seems like we have a green dinosaur. Oh, this is Rare Charlie, okay, it's supposed to be rare, but, you know, I don't really believe it because if you buy the entire incubator, you will get all 14 figures, so it doesn't really matter which one is a rare one because you definitely get the entire set if you purchase the entire incubator, so it doesn't really, really, you know, make a difference. I don't think it's rare unless you know you, you can't find it in the incubator so we have a rare charlie all right now it's time for us to take a look at all the indominus rex for comparison let's do this okay now let's take a look at this destroy and devour indominus rex i think it also has lights if i still remember okay let's try this okay the neck it's supposed to light up if I'm not wrong. Yep, there you go. You can see the night glowing, uh, the neck glowing, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna put it right behind because this figure, it is actually not able to stand very well. So let me just put it right behind, okay? So now it's time for us to take a look at every single Indominus Rex. Let me just put this aside first. 
Okay, let's have a look at this one. This one is quite a recent one, I would say. It's um, basically the extreme damage in Dominus Rex. The reason why I have placed them this way is because if you put it like this, you know, this figure is able to stand pretty well, but not for my destroy and devour in Dominus Rex. Anybody facing the same problem, please let me know. I don't think this has any lights, if I remember correctly, so... But it does have this extreme damage um, mechanism right here. So you're able to press this and you can see the internal part changing colors. Of course, yeah, this is a pretty cool figure I would say as well. It's slightly newer than the extreme damage uh, Indominus Rex. Uh, I'm sorry, the destroy and devour Indominus Rex. But I still feel the camouflage and battle Indominus Rex is the best one so far. Okay, next up, let's have a look at one of okay the very first Indominus Rex figure ever produced, ever made. This is actually from Hasbro. It's quite a new figure, but you can see this rubber actually, you know, turns yellowish quite easily. But this figure is still quite new. So let's try this. Okay, the sounds are still working, which is cool. And uh, if you guys don't know, this part right here will also glow. So. Yeah, I think apparently all the Indominus Rex had red lights inside because it is able to change its body temperature. Okay, so very cool. This is um let's try this again. Okay. This this was actually from Hasbro. 2015 Indominus Rex. I have no idea like what is the name of this Indominus Rex. I have totally forgotten about this name. So if you guys know, uh, let me know down below, okay? To make things fresh, I know that you guys might be, you know, really bored just looking at Indominus Rex figure. Let's, you know, um, make things a little bit more exciting. We can also open up another pack right here. Yep, another pack of the trading cards to see Okay, I can definitely see some shiny cuts, guys, okay? So, Jurassic World Celebration Collection. You can see the Jurassic World logo right here. So, what do we have right here? Yep, the scene where the raptors confronted Dr. Ham uh, Dr. Alan Grant for the missing Velociraptor eggs right here. So, this one is a cool one. Love this. This is a um, Parasaurolophus metallic card. T-Rex metallic card right here. This one seems to be a holographic card. Very beautiful one too. And this is basically the scene where you know, they were returning the eggs to the raptors. Very nice. And each scene, you're able to find the logo right here, which clearly tells you that you know it was actually taken from that particular movie. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside first. Let's open this one up. Probably our last one of the day. So what do I help hope to get? I hope to get the Indominus Rex just for you guys for this Indominus Rex video. So let's just cut this open. Okay, let's see. What do we have inside? Oh, it's a nice one, Paris or Rolifers. Let's have a look. The tail is actually still inside, I think. Let's just pop in the tail. It's very hard to actually insert the entire tail in. Yeah, very cool, very beautiful Paris or Rolifers. And do you guys know that it actually comes with the name meaning? Near Crested Lizard. You guys should know this by now. I always tell you guys. Okay, let's move on back to our Indominus Rex collection. Okay, next up. This is actually, you know, I really love this figure. You know, although it's from Hasbro. It's a beautiful figure, I must say. Hybrid Rampage Indominus Rex. It's a level 40 Indominus Rex. Comes with multiple functions. So this button actually triggers the yellow spikes. If you press it again, it will retract. Very cool. And it comes with this pumping action. You have to pump the arms a couple of times. But I think mine is not working very well. So let's just try this. Yeah, I don't think it's working anymore. It's supposed to pump the arms a couple of times. Uh, and then it's supposed to like move its jaw. 
Yeah, this figure is actually very rare. It's not able to, you're not able to get it like anywhere right now, except for eBay at a very high price. So let's just place this one right here. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Yep. This is the only way to display this in Dominus Rex, yeah. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this one right here, okay? This is also one of the, um, you know, latest releases in Dominus Rex Sound Search figure, beautiful figure. So it comes with a button on top, you press it, it will roll. I love this size because I feel that it is quite a small little size figure. You know, which is pretty excellent. Okay, next up, let's have a look at some other, you know, Indominus Rex. This one is also, you know, I call this a battle damage, but, you know, being a Hasbro figure, it is not like the best one out there uh, in terms of the sculpt. The paint scheme isn't really cool. Uh, I love the chomping action. I love this battle damage, but this mechanism for me at least is not working very well. So once you open it, you, you find it very, very difficult to close it back and it can't really stand. So, you know, as per usual, you have to make them stand up in this pose. Otherwise they keep falling over and, and, and it's still falling over. It's very extremely hard to make them stand. Yep, you have to balance it against its hue. Yep, so it's falling over again and leaning it against um, the other figure. Okay, next up, we have another one. This is a mini Indominus Rex. We haven't seen this for quite some time. It comes with some food which is very cute so you can actually feed it with some food put it inside its jaw i think you're supposed to align it you know with um like this i think yep so it has like beautiful red eyes yep so it's basically chomping down on the meat right now and there's a button on top you can press this as well Yep, so this is basically a baby Indominus Rex which looks very very adorable I must say. Let's place this one right here. Okay, next up, let's um, finish up our bigger figures. So right here we have two, you know, sort of like smaller Indominus Rex figure. This one is a hybrid Rampage version. You can see it comes with some very weird kind of spikes, you know, like a battle kind of um, armor. Yep, so this is basically like a, you know, evolved Indominus Rex and you can actually move the tail, the jaw will snap or similarly, it doesn't really stand very well so the only way to make it stand well is to move it like, you know, make it pretty upright like this Okay, so similarly to this one This one is a different version, it's a plain version but it also comes with a battle damage which is quite cool Okay, next up, another one is actually this one from Takara Tomi, which I think looks quite decent, except that it doesn't have any quills right here. So, quite a nice one. Okay, shall we open up another rig? I know that you guys might be bored. You know, just give me a second. Let's just have a look at more figures first. This one, it's the six inch basic figure, which I think looks really good as well. This is a cup topper. You guys should have seen this um, quite a few times. Yeah, we definitely need to clean this figure. It's kind of like dusty at the base. So uh, we got this from Thailand. Very, very cool. From the, it's a cinema product. Can only get it from a cinema. And this is basically the Zoom Rider. Let's try this. Okay, you pull this right back. You release it. Yep, wow. It's actually pretty strong to make the Indominus Rex move. So. Uh, the bigger Indominus Rex move. Very nice little figure. Haven't seen this for quite some time. So it's nice for us to occasionally do like an Indominus Rex collection. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Okay, next up, Snap Squad. Okay, so we have two Snap Squad. This one is basically the uh, normal version, the basic version. Okay, very cute little figure. And this one is the metallic version so you guys should know that i'm a huge lover of metallic figures love this so much 
very very beautiful uh, let's have a look at another one this one is basically um what do you call this this is another cup topper you can't find the logo right here this is an official product just to let you guys know okay uh what else do we have mcdonald's happy meal indominus rex so it comes with a wheel so if you push it you can see the jaw will actually move it's kind of cute yeah can you guys see it yeah it's kind of very very adorable so if you move the wheel the jaw will just move along beautiful little adorable figure next we have some more realistic figures this is um indominus rex mini dom mini dom mini indominus rex from captive collection why is my tongue getting tight you know i've been making like too many videos you know you guys know that i'm actually going to japan next week so i have to like pre-record like four videos yeah so many of the videos that you'll be watching next week will be pre-recorded so they may not actually feature like new new stuff okay so here's another indominus rex beautiful one golden indominus rex also from captive collection um a couple of uh, mini indominus rex right here from mattel let me just put the scissors away because you know i don't want to show like sharp things in my um in my video this is a very beautiful one you can see it's like partially translucent and on top of it, it is painted with coated with metallic paint very cool this one i think is um it's actually one of the um older first wave figure that was released in like 2018 the second jurassic world movie this one i think as well but i i love this I love the fact that um, they're using like transparency, translucency for the camouflaging abilities. The green one is basically to let you let you you know have a play that it is camouflaging in the jungle, in the forested areas. You know, which is why you can camouflage with the green. Okay, right here we have the Indominus Rex. Yes, I've actually brought this one, the baby Indominus Rex, just to show you guys. You know, too bad we didn't hatch it. I thought we might be able to catch one. This was actually from 2015. Hasbro pack. Quite a nice one. Okay, let's move on to the next figure. Here's another finger puppet. Indominus Rex finger puppet. Very cute. It is actually from Japan. Yeah, straight from Japan. I imported it from uh, Japan. You can see the very nice, um, you know, Amblin logo right at the back. Here we have another one, metallic Indominus Rex, comes with an articulated jaw. So this one basically looks very similar to this, or are they the, exactly the same figure? I think they are exactly the same, we have two of them. Very fortunate to have two similar ones. You guys know how much I love um, um, metallic figures. Micro collection Indominus Rex, super adorable. Hopefully we can get more micro collection. Okay, these two are made from a China company and um, this China company is actually known as, uh, I can't really read it, Wan Dian Wu Xian, probably I'm not too sure what, what, it, what it means, basically I, I think it means like um, infinite clay, something like that, yeah. So these are official Jurassic World products, very cool figure very beautiful but they fall off my shelf very very easily okay we have two last figures right here this is another one but without the translucency and this one i have no idea how i got it guys this is an official jurassic world figure i have no idea who actually made this i don't even remember how i actually got them yeah i've totally forgotten so yep so these are basically my entire Indominus Rex collection guys okay just to let you guys know this is my entire collection of Indominus Rex figure I mean apart from the um, you know Lego figures um, shall we open up another rig I don't think so I think we are done for the day I think maybe we can open one more okay maybe not I'd rather open up another pack of this trading cards really excited about this trading cards to be honest with you okay so let's have a look at one more pack Let's be really careful. You guys know that trading cards, they actually have 
value a value to them if you keep them in um, good condition but you can see this figure this card right here the corner is actually damaged yeah some of them are already damaged so all of them are actually damaged yeah wow this one is cool metallic holographic card this one is nice Owen this one is nice as well T-Rex this is basically blue and um, beta I don't mind opening an another pack this is so addictive okay let's try to open them very very carefully because I do not want to hurt the cuts at all okay let's get them out very very carefully I've actually you know you should put them in the sleeves these are known as penny sleeves for you to protect the cuts but it's not enough you have to load them into top loaders so this is another one from the lost row the t-rex is looking for its baby very cool scene this one is basically from jurassic world you know um rexy is basically thanking blue pyroraptor from jurassic world dominion very nice metallic parasol first i don't think it's a rare one well this one is cool but you can see the edges are already damaged Yep, the edges are damaged. So even straight out of the pack, you are able to find cuts that are like damaged, which is quite a pity. I'll, I'll open one last pack. I'll be doing an opening on Jurassic Den. Yeah, I'll be doing an opening on Jurassic Den very soon. So stay tuned for that. Jurassic Den is basically um, a channel, another channel of mine where I just, you know, review Jurassic World Star so what's this nice this is blue this is from the very opening scene dr ali settler and alan grant looking at the brachiosaurus that was the first time they have seen a live dinosaur this one is pretty cool celebration collection wow this one is cool leave though at eight months and for t-rex this one is pretty cool you can actually feel the texture Another scene. Yep, from the Lost World carrying the injured baby T Rex. All right, that's all. That is all, guys. Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching this. Really, really appreciate that. If you guys um want to request for a personalized video, you can actually go on to the About Us tab to find out more. You know, click on the link. That says sneakfeet.co. There's a link for you to like order, you know, a personalized video from me. Okay? So yeah, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. There will be a lot more exciting stuff coming up. The new plush toy that I'm creating, Dan Surprise exclusive, will be out really soon. Stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.